Nerds, have you ever felt bad for your bully? In ninth grade, I signed up to be a tutor and was assigned to one of the worst bullies in school, Jared. In our first lesson, I discovered he was illiterate. He knew the alphabet and could spell his name and that was about it. I also learned the reason he was so much bigger than most of the other kids in our grade was that he'd been held back two years already because he couldn't read and if he didn't get at least a C in English, he'd be held back again. He'd already decided he was going to fail and he was so angry and frustrated, and now embarrassed because I knew. That first lesson was basically him ranting about how stupid and pointless the tutoring was because it was just for half an hour on Wednesdays and that wasn't enough time to learn anything. So I told him he was probably right, but we took the same bus home, just a few stops apart, so I could come over to his place every day after school if he wanted to study more. He blew me off for a while, and then he cornered me in the library during lunch hour and said something like, fine, but if you tell anyone, I'll end you. I got permission from my parents and starting the next day, I went home with the guy. Now, to be clear, my own home situation was a little chaotic. My parents fostered, so there were always a bunch of kids, some with special needs, aged infant to teens. My house was always kind of noisy, kind of cluttered. It didn't bother me to see day old dishes or a messy room, but this kid's house was wall to wall open beer cans, rotting food, cigarette butts, and used diapers. The youngest kid looked to be about six years old, but was still in diapers. This was a two bedroom house, with the six kids segregated by gender into the two bedrooms and dad sleeping in the living room in this gross nest of beer and dirty clothes. I have no idea if there was a mom in the picture at all. Dad did not know I was coming over and started yelling and Jared snapped back about how he had a group assignment and we had to work on it together. Dad goes off for what felt like forever about how I'm going to have to do all the work because Jared is an idiot, good for nothing, useless piece of trash. Finally we are allowed to retreat to the bedroom, which stank of piss. There were two bare twin mattresses for three boys to share and I didn't want to sit on either of them, so I stood while he sat and we went over his reading workbook for a couple hours before I went home. Again, he told me not to tell anyone about his house or he'd destroy me. I told my parents what the house was like, and they told CPS several times. However, to my knowledge, CPS never got involved. The kids were fed and there was running water, so there was no immediate concern for CPS. Next day, Jared tells me his dad says I can't come over anymore, so I tell him we can always go to my house to study instead. There's just as many kids, but it's a little quieter. He says no, but when we get to his bus stop, he doesn't get up and doesn't let me get up either, so we go to my house. My parents are surprised, but they flow with it. Jared and I do the tutoring thing until dinner time and mom asks him if he wants to stay. He says no that night. He says yes the next night, and that turns into a daily thing. He stays well after dark every day. Some days we're putting kids to bed before he'll finally go home. He only lets my dad drive him if it's snowing or raining. I'm about 80% sure that there were a couple nights when he just slept in the tent the little kids kept in the backyard as a fort. One stormy afternoon, we have a minor chicken coop related incident and he actually offers to go slogging through the crap with me mending a fence. Afterwards, we dig out some dry clothes for him and he gets a shower while mom washes his clothes, and that also turns into a regular thing where every so often, he shows up with a bunch of dirty clothes in his school bag and takes a shower at my house while his clothes get washed. We don't hang out together at school. He made it clear we aren't friends, but he sits watching TV in my house almost every day and we laugh at the same dumb shows. His grades improved across the board. He still got in fights and bullied other kids at school, but at my house, he was quiet, respectful, and even patient and funny with my siblings. It was like he was two completely different people, and it forever changed the way I looked at other bullies. I stopped thinking, that kid's a jerk, and started wondering why instead.